मंत्र योगा वॉट इज मंत्र द डेफिनेशन आई एक्सप्लेन इन दिस ओरिजिनल बुक मंत्र योगा इज पार्ट ऑफ भक्ति योगा और डिवोशनल योगा द डेफिनेशन इज मन नाथ त्रायते इति मंत्र बाय रिपीटिंग विच ट्रांसफॉर्म्स यू सेव्स यू फ्रॉम द ओशन ऑफ माया दैट मींस गिव्स यू प्यूरिटी ऑफ माइंड एंड हार्मोनी दैट इज मंत्र योगा कलियुगे कलियुगे केवल नाम आधार there are so many techniques of meditation and our current yoga is called kali yoga and out of all the techniques of meditation mantra chanting is considered the most effective meditation technique because one doesn't have enough time in this kali yoga and there are distractions mantra yoga can be practiced very easily in meditation practice manual i further explain more details about mantra yoga mantra is a scientific formula yogis perceived mantra just like short words phrases which they received in their deep meditation and this mantra are universal it has no limit of religion time it is universal mantra they perceived and they taught to their disciples scientific mantra have six aspects one is a rishi the founder yogi who found the mantra meter is just a Uh, inflection of voice certain way it needs to be chanted devata personal god like each mantra has power of personal god bija means a seed It's like a real power comes from the seed most of the mantra has om as a seed shakti means energy all mantras have some form of energy you generate energy by chanting mantra and kilaka is like a pillar that ties all everything together and there are so many benefits of mantra it gives you peace it purifies the mind it increases devotion in the heart so there are many kinds of mantra satvik mantra rasik mantra tamsik mantra tamsik mantra is to use the power to hurt someone rasik mantra is to gain power for personal success wealth fame and power both of these are harmful satvik mantra is for self purification mantras which are saguna and nirguna mantras saguna mantra with some demand with quality and nirguna mantra are universal mantra there is no demand वैदिक मंत्रास मंत्रास फाउंड फ्रॉम वैदिक टाइम एंशियन टाइम आर कॉल वैदिक मंत्रास डिवोशनल मंत्रास मंत्रास दैट जनरेट डिवोशन इन द हार्ट देर आर सो मेनी डिवोशनल मंत्रास शरणागति मंत्रा मीन्स सरेंडर मंत्रास मंत्रास दैट इंक्रीज योर डिवोशन एंड ह्यूमिलिटी सो यू सरेंडर टू गाड इंक्रीज डिवोशन टू गाड गुरु मंत्रा when guru knows a disciple and after studying the psychology of a disciple guru chooses specific mantra is called guru mantra bija mantra is like a seed of mantra jap mantra jap mantras are chanted with rosary bead which has 108 beads and a detail of how to do jap is given in this book dhuna when you get together and chant in the group with a musical instrument it's called dhuna bhajan and kirtana bhajans are devotional songs written by saints and holy people out of devotion to god which are not like mantra but it increases devotion in the heart mantra chanting can be done while working 
Okay. So these are some insight into mantra chanting. Mantra takes you inward. So if you do mantra as a sadhana, you become more into it, then real mantra becomes a japa japa. That means continuous chanting. You chant with each breath. That means your unconscious mind keeps on remembering God at all the times while you are working, while you are sleeping, while you are dreaming. dreaming. This is the most powerful mantra when you do a japa japa, which happens automatically after you do for a prolonged time, then mantra becomes part of you. It happens automatically and it guides you. And this gives mantra siddhi or spiritual powers. Mahatma Gandhi used a Rama mantra all his life. At the time of death, he said, Hey Rama. Christ was tuned into love for humanity and he forgave people who crucified him. God forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. So this is the mantra. If you practice constantly, it becomes mantra for you. If you are a Christian, your mantra would be, God, thy will be done. It becomes a mantra or any other phrase that guides you constantly, it becomes your Bija mantra. Jai Bhagavan.